This is Brian at Atlanta Hot Tub Center and congratulations on your new hot tub. Today we're going to demo the different spas for you, right? So if you have a 680 series Sundance hot tub, the first thing you're going to do when this bad boy gets delivered is you're going to go to your Sundance Spas website, right? You're going to go to Sundance Spas website, www.sundancespas.com. You are going to click on Smart Tub, and then you are going to click on whether you are on Android or Apple or what uh, uh, OS operating system you're using on your phone, and um, the the your your uh, camera will pop up, and it will ask you to put the camera over this barcode, and then it will automatically populate, and you'll fill everything out, right? And that's going to set up your Smart Tub, okay? Secondly, I want to talk about this control panel and what this control panel does and what all these buttons mean, okay? This is up for temperature, down for temperature, lights and dim settings, jet pump one, jet pump two, and menu. Menu is where you go in and you actually change filter cycles. Um, I will refer you to the owner's manual on this because there's three or four pages of different filter cycles and things that you can do. You can set your hot tub into a, a economy, which is almost like a summer mode, right? It'll help to keep things cooler in summer and then set it in standard in winter. And that's normally what I suggest. But again, go through the different options and find what's best for you, okay? Secondly, let's start talking about the exterior. This can be, uh, you just spray it off with your garden hose. Look, if you're gonna use a pressure washer, be really careful and stand a few feet back because at the end of the day, you don't wanna scar this. This is a composite, it is a plastic, right? Has no wood fiber in it, okay? All right, so let's get into the hot tub, right? So all the jets in the hot tub can individually be controlled by the outer collar, right? You can see me turning this outer collar, right? And what that's doing is it's putting air into the, the water to create the action, right? It is, it is air and water together that creates the action in the jet, right? So if you want to individually turn a jet up and down, we're going to turn this outer collar. Now, let's look at all these air controls, right? That's what these are, these air controls. We're ignoring the big guys right now, just the little dudes, the little guys send air to a full section. So if I'm sitting in this section and I turn this, this is going to adjust the air on the entire section. Again, if I want to adjust an individual jet, I'm going to go to that jet and I'm going to go forth and I'm going to turn the stainless steel outer collar on that jet to adjust pressure. Okay? Now, let's look at these bigger valves. Some Hot tubs have two, some have one. It just depends on the plumbing and how it's set up. What this diverter valve, and yes, this is a diverter valve, and what it does is it diverts pressure from one side of the hot tub to the other, right? So different sections as you're turning this, you will see different sections turning off and on. Next question is going to be like, why do they do that, right? Well, they're doing that because they want to create more pressure. If you want a ton of pressure, right, you've hurt your back or something like that, you can crank up your section, right? And then you also may have somebody in the hot tub that's like, hey, look, I just want to sit in the hot water. I really don't like the jets, right? So you could turn this and turn off their section and crank your section up so everybody's comfortable in the hot tub, right? So that's a beautiful thing. All right, so around here, these are lights. When you look at the 680 and you see these little lenses, those are your lights, okay? There's also a lighted waterfall here as well. So, so plenty of lights in, 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 in the hot tub, right? So um, let's start talking about maintaining the filter, right? On a monthly basis, whether you use the hot tub or not, you need to pull the filter out, spray it off real good, right get in between those pleats that's the biggest thing spread those pleats out a little bit and really get in there with the hose and once you're done put it back in uh, find whatever chemical maintenance that you're using right and you'll find another YouTube video on the on, on the chemical maintenance and you can kind of go through that but this is the 680 series hot tub and this is the demo on it so again you have any other questions right any more questions don't hesitate to give us a call thank you from Atlanta hot tubs